at the end of the year in areas most impacted by gun violence. San Jose is now proposing potentially to uh, require gun owners to carry um, uh, insurance, for example, kind of similar to the way how we have insurance for people driving a car, for example. Uh, and certainly there are various proposals uh, in order to ensure gun safety. Uh, and uh, one of the things that we are actually working right now in the Tar County is a separate uh, program uh, regarding the gun buyback program in the side of uh, east side of the county, something we haven't had for like four or five years, if not more. So we are looking at potentially on December 11th to hold this pro uh, gun buyback program over at uh, Mopitas, uh, probably at the parking lot in the community center area is the current uh, plan. Still very much in the draft stage. Uh, but we believe that will be uh, uh, another occasion where people can, you know, right before the holidays, uh, could, uh, could use some extra cash, could uh, use the opportunity to turn into any unwanted weapon. The gun buyback program in general doesn't affect so directly to <clears throat> people think about mass shootings, but certainly we have issues of uh, uh, mental health issues, as we know, related to COVID. And that with a gun in the household certainly could be very dangerous and potentially deadly. We certainly want to promote uh, like a gun lock and making sure that guns are being put away safely uh, and certainly away from kids and other people who really should not have any access to it. So in the gun buyback program that we talk about, we also have some public uh, service awareness um, pamphlet and information we'll be providing to, to keep guns safe. And so by having this program would give it a, a ability for people to basically uh, turn the guns in and for a small amount of cash.